Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. It's time for movie review. Today, Gemini Man. That's right, everybody. Welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is... Jelani Bullard. This is... Brooks. And we are going to be talking about Gemini Man today. That's right, the brand new movie starring Will Smith, directed by Ang Lee. Basic premise of the movie is that the super BA assassin is trying to retire, and so then they send a killer after him, and of course it's a cloned younger version of himself. You've seen the trailer, you kind of know what's going on. They got that special effects thing where they have not just de-aged Will Smith, but I guess they used mocap and they used CG and they like they did some kind of new weird technique with it or whatever, right? So we're going to get into the movie. We're going to do the spoiler-free review first and then go into spoiler territory. Overall, I cannot recommend this movie. I think it's kind of dumb in parts. I do think some parts are really, really cool. It's got some great action scenes at times. Um, to me, though, it has weak uh, writing and weak acting at times. The delivery, I don't really feel like any of the actors are truly committed in this film, including Will Smith. Um, the technology, the special effects look absolutely astonishing and astounding in certain parts, and in other parts they look really bad, and they completely take me out of the movie. Um, the movie's got a weird, odd pace, especially towards the back end of the film. Um, overall, I think it's just a little clunky all over the place, a great concept, lots of, lots of, uh, of possibility there, but just wasted opportunity for me in this one. What about you, Jelaine? I thought it was generic. I thought it was really... It is poorly paced. There there are parts where I love the action in this film. It has really great action scenes. And, and Will Smith does look good in parts for when he's younger. But there's a fight scene that goes on in this movie that's a little too dark. That they should have probably been in a different location. And what would have made it look a, a lot better like they were actually fighting each mm, other. Talking about the catacombs. <clears throat> yeah. Fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah they should have spoiler free like, right now. Well, spoiler free, but it, it's it, to me it, it it's it's I've seen this movie. I've seen this movie tons of times. It's spy versus spy, basically, and everybody in the film is is flat. They don't look like they have much chemistry together. Like they could have chemistry. But they're just phoning this in. Mm -hmm. It's like everybody's phoning it in. And stop making Clive Owen typecast. He is so typecast in so many films now. And, and I love Clive, uh, Clive Owen. I think the movie would have been a in. smidgen better had he used his uh, natural accent. Yeah, yeah, a little better. <laughs> he, he's he's just he's the weakest part for me because he play, he's supposed to play this commanding figure. But I don't care about him. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. care about much of these characters. And that's how, and Will Smith is when he plays his younger self or clone, and he plays himself. They, when they play off of each other, there's no chemistry between Will Smith. Yeah. So I mean, Will yeah. Smith doesn't have chemistry with Will Smith. Will Smith, who knew that? And he he's been falling off in a few year in, in years. Mm -hmm. But this, I mean, I know he do, he he has the capacity to yeah. be better. I know he can be funny. I know I, I, he has it in him, and he just doesn't try to convey any emotion in this film. Like there has to be a little bit more. I, I laughed in parts, okay, but overall, yeah, yeah the, I, I the jokes are really we. They don't hit. The humor doesn't hit in this film, it, yeah. and it kind of feels very forced, and it doesn't work for me. Brooks, real quick, spoiler free. What are your thoughts on Gemini Man? I liked it pretty well. I thought it was a decent action movie, and you know, there hasn't been like any really good pure action movies that aren't like you know comic book movies mm -hmm. these days so it was nice to you know see one you know just a movie with some good action and you know will smith he's charming like always you know he's okay. will smith. Mm -hmm. i thought he did pretty good in this too all right now we're getting into spoiler territory so if you don't want the movie spoiled um don't watch the rest of this video until the end when we do the ratings but i will say that i mean i mean this is just this movie's you don't have to spoil have this movie spoiled for you it's, it goes exactly how you would the think the trailers spoil our movies for us now pretty well much. it's yeah. also just a very cliche script like yeah, like jelani yeah. said this is a movie we've seen over and over it's like it's the we've spy versus spy movie. stuff this is there's a lot of stuff that's like this and there's nothing wrong with that you know but there's always ways to throw in new twists one new twist that you throw in is you're fighting a younger version of yourself, right? And I like that idea. I think it's really cool. That's what really enticed me to check out this movie. That concept, that core concept, and then, of course, the fact that it was being directed by Ang Lee, 
who's done some... I love movies like Life of Pi and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and The Ice Storm. Um, I even think Hulk has some really good redeeming qualities at times with the way it looks, right? Visually, this movie, like all of Ang Lee's films, looks amazing. The framing is, is spot on. The camera movements, it's very technically... A skilled movie. They do start losing some footing when they get into the CG type stuff, though. Um, but I think the movie is is visually striking. But I feel like like Life of Pi is saying so much with the story and the characters and the acting, <laughs> as well as being this fun spectacle thing because it was a new new technology right. they were using for the tiger, right, mm -hmm. to make the tiger, yeah, the tiger look like... real and all that stuff, right? And uh, this one is doesn't have that heart. For me, yeah. like I don't feel like anybody had their heart into this movie. It's amazing. Um, what do you think overall about Will Smith's performance? You said that because you said that Will Smith could be funny, and he can, and he's I think, potential. and he's he can be an action star, and he can be a dramatic actor. He's done all of these before, and you said that it fe like I don't think everybody's heart was into this movie, including Will Smith. But he is trying to convey emotion, but it's all just one emotion. Yeah, and you it's know, just, I'm Will Smith, man. Yeah, I mean, he's this, got... It's, it's a weird, slow delivery he's got. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, and it's... it's it, he he has a moment where he's talking to himself uh, at the end. Mm -hmm. Where, he, you know... He, he, oh, yeah. He, there's a whole bunch of shit that happens, sorry. And <laughs> when it happens, he, he, at the end, it's Will, Will Smith talking to his younger version. Mm -hmm. And he tells him... You know, he, he's talking to him about what he should go... Well, into I guess going forward with his life, yeah. Because you know, <clears throat> and Will both the Will Smiths live. Um, I really thought one of them would die, but both Will Smiths live. Yeah, but they threw a third Will Smith. We lost, third, we lost one. Will we Smith. lost a Will Smith. Um, they threw a third Will Smith in there out of nowhere, yeah. but not really out of not nowhere. Really we nowhere saw we it coming. Sorry. Yeah, he was <laughs> like, "Oh, this dude's wearing a mask and jumping all crazy." I thought it was Night Monkey at first. Really? Yeah, from Night the Spider Man Monkey. film. But yeah, Will Smith is very, very flat with Could himself. And he's Good. a lot better. He could have been Venom. He was running and jumping and parkouring. All I don't over. understand. Like, I, I get the clone. I don't thing. get that. I don't get that. Will I get Smith the clone idea. That. I get the idea that Will Smith's character Henry. Yeah. Um. I get the idea that he's he's that badass. Yeah. But he's Will. He's not. I he's mean, not you're trying to tell Superman. Yeah. I mean, like, like, what was he? Was he's like doing like, like Spider-Man level yeah. kind of stuff. He was jumping and flipping off stuff. I'm like. Oh, well, that's fake. I mean, the whole the movie starts out with him making the most ridiculous fucking sniper shot. That's yeah. more believable to me. Him. Oh yeah, that's more believable to me than to, and he does a shot. Like it's believable to me. Train. All they had to do was be like, and we took the opportunity to tweak his genetics. And I'm sure that maybe that maybe yeah. there's a cut scene well, somewhere. Supposedly, like the the third one, like he didn't feel pain and stuff like that. Yeah, he was, like the perfect soldier type. Of made. course, he was <laughs> trying to make clones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it, I mean. It was a terrible was like, idea. I guess, the, I guess the first one was kind of like the prototype. And, uh, the, yeah. Yeah. The last one was like that. He was the T2000. Yeah. But, uh, Pretty much, yeah. I, uh, you know, I think for a movie that has a cool concept, it's an easy concept to understand. A younger clone of this badass assassin is being sent after him. Mm -hmm. But they really go through this it's... movie to over-explain it a lot, man. Like... Like in elementary terms, you yeah. took a person, you made a person out of another person, and then you sent that person to kill that person, whatever. It but uh, it's 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 a it's I don't know the action scenes though. I really do think that that motorcycle that scene is pretty part. dope. Mm. I even like the 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 motorcycle foo and yeah, yeah, whatever. whatever. You, you He's kicking him with the motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, it's a little weird. It's, it doesn't. It gets a little goofy, but I love that entire scene. I thought it was pretty funny. It gave me vibes from T two, a little mm. bit, you okay. know, with the way because yeah. the way it's shot too is like very well done. And then it does get a little doofy there at the end, but it doesn't quite get like Mission oh. Impossible two level doofy That's motorcycle scene, you know. Um, but it doesn't quite hit that born ultimatum level of motorcycle. Oh scenes, yeah, which to me is like yeah, amazing. Like I yeah. love that. So um, the action is good, but. For a movie that's, I would say, mostly an action film, it's got action in it, but not a lot. Like, yeah. so the Catacombs yeah. fight. The Catacombs fight is kind of weak. I was like, oh, they're about to destroy the all these things. Every, every stuff, movie yeah. now has to have an, a fucking fight scene in the dark for some reason. Yeah, yeah right. Because like, they they're hiding the fact that like, people oh, can't fight. Here's this badass fight scene, but it will make it so dark you can't really see what's happening. Yeah. yeah. And he also keeps the camera in tight on those scenes, too. Yeah. Um, which didn't really bother me so much, but you're right. That one is dark. And I think mainly that's because he's fighting himself with no... 
no facial coverage. Right. Right. And so, like, that leads to the special effects, to the I, the, the effect of it, right? Right. To, it's totally believable throughout a lot For of A lot the of the movie. But it's... then there are parts where, and it, when, it, <sighs> when it's not good, it is so obviously not good, it pulls me out. Mm-hmm. of the movie right and it's more than just an uncanny valley or something like it goes from looking like top notch work like it's mm-hmm. actually like they went back in time and pulled the fresh prints out right and threw them up work. there you know um and then other times it's like that looks like worse than shrek is so she's like and this yeah. looks like come on man yeah. i don't know what do you what do you think about the effects i know you're not quite so yeah, harsh i didn't on have effects. i didn't have any problems this movie myself. depends on that though yeah, right? so I, it didn't, I didn't have any points where I was like, I thought it was particularly bad. You didn't think it looked doofy at the end there when he like waves at him when he's at college? Hey, no. Oh, okay. Man, to me, that stuck out so bad. Yeah. What about you, Jelani? Man, I look at CG all the time. I mean, I want to see CG that looks seamless. I don't want it to be uh, Final Fantasy. That, that, okay, that yeah. Final Fantasy movie? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like they were trying to do in parts of it. Which, the parts where you were saying. But then... I, I judge it by Grand Moff Tarkin from Rogue One. Okay. The reason I say that is because I loved it's divisive, but I loved it. I loved the way he looked. They brought Peter Cushing back. The way he looked, the way he moved. They didn't do. They they did too many long shots on him though to make it make it look like that. That's how I'm comparing this. He looks like Will Smith, like from Fresh Prince twenty years yeah, ago. He, he does. does. He really does. And it's kind of weird. That in some parts, when his mouth is moving, it still felt like it looked like he wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And there are just parts where it just didn't make me feel right. It, it, it did take me out. Um, there are parts where he's talking to Clive Owen, where I was looking at it, and I was like, sometimes I'm like, he's there. But then, it, like, Clive Owen hugs him. Yeah. And it looks like his head's, like, all up on top. It didn't look <laughs> real. It didn't look right. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, you know, yeah. you've got it, but you don't have it. You're speaking it's, of, yeah, you're speaking mm-hmm. of Clive Owen. Let's let's talk about him real quick. Um, As a villain, very typical. It's he a waste so of a great actor. God. This whole movie's a waste of great actors. It is. Benedict Wong is in this yeah. film, and he's just kind of... He's there. He's just there. He's, he's, the, comic he's the psychic hey. comic relief, oh, oh, oh. but those jokes don't land. They don't nail. It's a no, weird I... pace to the dialogue. Um, the action scenes, like that motorcycle scene's just... I, that's one of my favorite action scenes in the movie mm-hmm. this year. You know? Really? Like that one really? scene. Like, it's I really awesome. like that scene. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Clive Owen in this film as the villain? I think he's a little just kind of boring and yeah, typical. Yeah, well, I mean, he's the typical, like, evil guy with an evil yeah. scheme. But he does, he does get some moments, you know, he does get some development. Uh, yeah, with, he's a father. With, with the, uh, the younger Will Smith character. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he's not completely one-dimensional, but he is very predictable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a generic villain to me. I, I think he's manipulating Will Smith. Okay. And it feels like it, his love didn't feel genuine. Mm-hmm. Like you couldn't really tell. And you knew he was gonna—he was training to be a weapon. But like, how did Will Smith all this time not know that you know he had a kid that he was raising? Like this is just this kid just appeared out of nowhere. And why, how would he not know that? You know, he's so well, I think he hasn't really been... He yeah, they, weren't, they weren't particularly close. Well, no, yeah, he didn't invite him over to the Labor Day picnic. <laughs> I'm just... I'm not saying that. Because he found out about Mary uh, Elizabeth Winstead's character like that. And oh, yeah. Then, okay. You know I get it, but I don't think he's going to keep tabs on this. And I think yeah. the dude keeps... The, you know... But... It's like, but well, Clark, like yeah. you're really going to risk spying on a guy who's, like, professionally... You know, a spy master. I also yeah. think it's really uh, but weird yeah. how public this Gemini company is yeah. and how secretive and covert they're supposed to be at the same time. It's almost like Wildcats, how a covert <laughs> action team doesn't exist. Right. It's kind of like what this is supposed to be. I don't know. Um, but he's but, generic. And he's what's her name? Generic. You just mentioned it. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. She's okay in the movie, but once again, like everybody else, doesn't feel committed, doesn't feel, yeah. feel like it's just phoning it in. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... The only thing they really spent time on in this film was the CG stuff, Mm -hmm. and even that starts falling flat. But in other parts, to me, it's really, really cool. But overall, like, and I just didn't even buy her, like, her commitment to their cause. Like, yeah, they're after her, too, yeah, and all this stuff, but, like, she just kind of goes along with it, and then she's there. Like, Like you said right after the theater, 
those other characters were just there for Will Their Smith to sound voice. off of. Yeah, yeah. Th- it was just like she needed uh, she needed to be there for him to talk to somebody while he was doing these things. He could have easily flown those, his pl- this plane somewhere yeah. and not had Wong there. Uh, he could have easily gotten his own lodgings in Colombia without Wong. Yeah, I just think that there are certain things that that, that Will Smith actually this, Will Smith could have done this movie by himself. <laughs> just just could have played all the parts. He played all the parts. Because like he didn't, it didn't feel like he had chem- like I said chemistry with anyone there. Yeah, it was just like they were just we were just here. Okay, we we're just here to do things. Yeah, it seems you like know, overall it right. we're. It seems like overall we don't really think this movie's best. So let's get to the rating system. Out of five possible you digs, Jelani, what do you give Gemini Man? Two, two you digs. I'm not gonna watch it again. Um, it's Will Smith looks good in parts. That's the one. And I did kind of like Mary Elizabeth Winstead, like, playing off him in parts. Mm -hmm. So I give that the two. Okay. (laughs) Everything else. Oh, well, I should give it three because of the motorcycle. But it's still going to stay two. Yeah. Uh, I dig that. I dig that. What about you, Brooks? Out of five possible digs, what do you give Gemini Man? I give it a three and a half. Wow. Mm. I think it's, it's slightly above average. Um... You know, I'm an action movie guy though, so I kind of, I kind of tend to let things, a lot of things slide that mm-hmm. you know, most people would, would not. Okay. So, like I just, if I can enjoy myself and I'm entertained, you yeah. know, I'm happy. And you and were enjoyed. I thought this, yeah, I thought this movie, this movie didn't bore me. Okay. 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 All right. Three point five, two. I'm right there with Delaney. I'm gonna give it a two. Yeah. Um, I thought the motorcycle bit was good. There are parts where the CG looks amazing. The performances aren't there for me. The story is a little way too thin and there's not enough like there's just not enough meat there yeah. to round this thing out it's it's just it just didn't work for me but it's not a super it's terrible film it's trying too hard it's trying too hard to be an action film that it yeah, yeah. it just doesn't portray it though it's just like ah, I don't want to do it no I can't do it so two you digs two you digs 3.5 which makes it an average of 2.79764334974 delta quadrant 4 Delta Quadrant. Well it's obviously a Star Trek. It's Star Trek. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for checking out the video. Please let us know what you think of Gemini Man in the comments down below. And join us next time. We'll be doing movie reviews all throughout the rest of the year. Lots of fun and excitement here at Pop Culture Philosophers. Thank you so much once again for checking out the video. I had to say it twice because it's Gemini Man. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Get it? There's two of them. Please do like, share, and subscribe. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. This has been... Jelani Bullers. This has been... Brooks. And we are the Pop Culture Philosophers. Thanks for watching. Join us at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. You dig? <laughs> <laughs>